rugby community across the country is rallying together for a Harriman High teen who broke his neck during a tournament. Yeah, it's the way they're showing support, though, that is blowing this family away. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher explains what they're doing as the high school player focuses on recovery. Lauren? Mike and Dini, that Harriman High Jr. had a freak accident on the field. He is not able to get back on the field, but his teammates are making sure that he is still included in their upcoming game. Getting pumped on the field. Right, we got a game this weekend, so got to get ready. Practice isn't just about playing. Talk, talk, talk. Be loud, be loud, be loud. It's forming family. It's like a brotherhood. But right now, Harriman High Rugby is down one of their brothers. Oh! Who broke his neck in a freak accident tackle that you can just barely see here at their last tournament in St. George. Ran over to him. And he, uh, he told me that he couldn't really move his head. Ryland Southwick was flown to Salt Lake City in the hospital for days. Now, he's home playing a different game as he rests up. Uh, they told me the recovery is, they didn't really know. Last Friday, Ryland got a surprise. They were supposed to have their team dinner, but instead they came and did this for me. Making him feel. That you're not alone. <laughs> That's probably the biggest one. Other rugby teams hearing the news have also been sending their well wishes. Well, all my teammates wrote their names and said like a message for me. And team swag to lift Ryland's spirits. <laughs> yeah, I'm very grateful. There's been people across the nation reaching out saying we're praying for you and we really love you. One show of support that Ryland hasn't even seen yet. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But you can see it practice today. A way to bring Ryland onto the field at their next game. We ended up uh, bleaching all of our hair. I hope he laughs, actually. I, I hope he thinks it's funny. And we wanted every possible way to show him that even though he's on the sideline now, probably will be for a lot of the season, we still love him, we still care about him. Showing a true brotherhood, no matter what happens on the field. But I know this rugby community is amazing, and I love it here. And the only thing about that beach blonde hair, uh, bleach blonde hair, is that it's hard to tell who is who out on the field. So that should be interesting uh, on their game this Saturday. Rylan is hoping that he can attend and watch from the sidelines. Mike and Dini. So glad he's improving. That is a tight-knit community. So a lot of prayers going his way, obviously, there. Lauren, great story. Thank you.